Hey guys, welcome back to Rocket Gyan, my fellow space tubers. Okay, so here we are uh, here again to witness the launch of another module of the China Space Station. So if you are new to this whole China Space Station thingy, let me just tell you that uh, China is planning to build its own space station in a low Earth orbit and uh, yes to uh, you know start that journey it has already launched the Tiene core module back in uh, may 17 or 18 if i'm wrong if i'm correct and uh, yeah now it is the time to launch the cargo module which is named as tianzo 2 uh, cargo module and uh, it will basically uh, you know transport the resupply mission to the space station like for the international space stations we have htv we have the cargo dragon and uh, uh, then we have the soyuz also uh, similar to that we will have this tianzo 2 spacecraft which will be a cargo resupply mission to the uh, china space station so that is the thing so how are you guys uh hi jasberg hi uh lily zoo i see leo uh Hi, marvelous and okay so right now uh, we are looking at the live views of the rocket uh, and uh, it is uh, under the hood which we can see right now this hood will slowly open and we'll get to know uh, what will be the timing of the launch uh, and a shout out to south plus for providing this amazing live feed and uh, okay so without any further ado we can uh, uh, i am good unixly how are you without any further ado let's just jump into it and let's just see how this thing you know works how this thing will perform and uh, what do we expect from today's launch so here we are uh so the rocket which will be launching today is the long march 7 rocket and uh, if you don't know the characteristics for this uh, launch vehicle are as follows i mean first of all the payload capacity to the low earth orbit for this rocket which you are right now seeing on the pad uh, uh, on the launch mount basically uh, is the, around 13 tons to low earth orbit okay 13 tons to low earth orbit with this uh, uh, long march 7 rocket and this is a, a medium to heavy lift launch vehicle which is you know uh, just come below long march 5 if i'm not wrong and uh, uh, for the you know those uh, characteristics for this first of all let me just tell you that this vehicle is basically a uh, four stage rocket which you can see here four four boosters i mean it will be having this four boosters a core stage and then an upper stage and obviously the fairing so this is how the things will look like for this one and uh, okay just a sec here i think so i have to adjust this thing just a sec here Finally. okay so yeah i was talking about the long march 7 rocket so this is have this has this four boosters and a core stage and then an upper stage so this is the uh, payload capacity for this rocket is around 13 tons and the first stage is powered by uh okay the first stage is basically powered by the boosters is powered by yf 100 engines which runs on rp1 and locks and the same is for the core stage the core stage will have two engines 
by of 100 the boosters will have uh, one engines each for by of 100 and all of them runs on rp1 and locks as its fuel then the second stage or the upper stage for this rocket runs on yf115 rocket engine uh, i think four of them are there and then uh, um, this also runs on rp1 and locks as its fuel so this is all about the rocket now let's have a look at the uh, this tianzhou uh, spacecraft which will be launched today right we need to have some good uh, uh, things about this spacecraft good info about this spacecraft so uh, talking about this spacecraft first of all as i just said that uh, this spacecraft will be a cargo module to the space station okay and uh, this space station uh, basically will serve as an you know uh, a breather for international space station the chinese once chinese space station is operational and they are very ambitious with their plans because they want to launch uh, the complete their space station basically by 2022 this 2022 so th they have a very ambitious time frame for that and they are uh, actually doing well according to that front so here in the image you can see this uh, spacecraft uh, this is the antennas. This, these are the uh, um, solar panels. These are the thrusters, the attitude control thrusters it, it is having. And uh, this is the part where the most mostly the, uh, you know, the cargo, the pressurized cargo will be there, uh, will be there. And this part will have the uh, fuel to it. So this cargo module not only serves as a, you know, um, a thing to just, uh, uh, provide cargo to the resupply cargo to the space station but also it uh, acts as a resupply mission of the fuel so it can adjust the trajectory it can adjust the orbit of the space station it can refuel the uh, space station and uh, all these things so yeah this is how it looks like now uh, if i talk about its components and some basic lookout for this so yeah this is the thing here you can see and uh, uh, so in the uh, picture above here uh, we can see first of all um, that this space this uh, this uh, has this uh, max weight of around 13.5 tons so yeah it can uh, the long march 7 ro rocket can lift it and this uh, has a propulsion module here this is the cargo module here which we can see and uh, uh, yeah and this is the docking port for this and before uh, it also has this since it has a propulsion module it also has the engines on it so um, the payload capacity for this thing is 6.5 tons out of which um, this uh, you know this uh, just a sec okay. I was saying yeah 6.5 tons is the total payload capacity and uh, if I want to have the uh, those specific numbers for this spacecraft those will be 4.69 tons of the cargo pressurized cargo and 1.95 tons of the propellant so this is how the things will look like for this one if i am good you can uh, if you have any other questions guys you can surely uh, ask me right now and i'll try to answer them for you uh otherwise we can uh, move on to the next part so this is the you know the thing which you can see here and uh, yeah okay so we can move on to the uh, next one next one here uh, next information which we should be looking at so this this the core task will be of the on orbit refueling as well as the uh, you know providing the cargo to the space station and for this launch specifically the tianzhou 2 spacecraft will carry three person and three month astronaut consumables to these uh, in uh, china space station which is known as tiangong space station and it will also carry the two sets of eva space suits so yes china has uh, china knows how to do a space walk also so it has this extra vehicular space suit which will be there and the platform materials and what platform materials i'm talking about well i'll just tell you this will conduct rendezvous and docking with the tiana core module which has which is already in the orbit right now 
एंड या द टोटल यू नो द पेलोड कैपेसिटी विल बी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टन सो दैट इज द केस विद दिस थिंग नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हियर ओके सो दिस इज द पिक्चर विच आई हैव गॉट फॉर यू इज द इन साइड लुक ऑफ द स्पेस स्टेशन हियर this is not the space station this cargo module this is the inside look of the cargo module which you can see and uh, uh, yeah you can see all those cargo is like strapped to its place obviously uh, for the launch environment and everything so yeah that is the case here okay now moving on uh, so we have just talked about the uh, this module which is being launched today now let's just have a quick look at the module which was launched which is the core, core module and you can say the backbone of the uh, of the space station of the whole space station so we should be having a look at that too so this is the tiana core module which was uh, launched shout out to shimkent.info for providing the this amazing graphic here we can see it has uh the node which will be having a docking port for five docking ports here 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 in the uh, left right the forward section and in the bottom section this thing with the yellow uh, hand yellow rails there is the eva airlock from where the astronauts or taikonauts to be more precise can go outside and perform eva activities or a space walk so yes that is the thing and this this is more like a canada arm but is more capable than a canada arm i should say because it can literally uh, you know move certain uh, um, modules from one part of this this station to the another so one docking port to the another so it's a very capable uh, arm here which is there on this module and uh, now talking about where this uh, 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 this uh, cargo module will dock so here you can see a certain you know the more detailed part of the tiana core module module and you can from here you can see that it is this aft docking unit also attached to it so it has the four docking part in the node cabin and there is one more aft docking unit so here the cargo module will come and dock so what is the use of this aft docking unit if you ask me basically it is used to you know uh, it is a quick docking port which means you can just uh, whenever a spacecraft wants to dock with the space station without performing any uh, you know those uh, maneuvers and just want to quickly dock with the space station this is a quick docking port because it does not you know has these complexities of uh, all those docking ports together and uh, you know that uh, traffic jam at a one place so uh, the the module can come and dock at this part uh, easily so this is where the cargo module will dock and this is how the things will look like in orbit this is the module the tna module which you can see here and this is the cargo module which will come and dock to the space station and shout out to willow monster for this uh, amazing graphic here and uh, yep that is the thing okay now uh, this is how the things will look like and uh, this is how the you know the docking will take place with the space station so uh, now moving on to the next part so i now i have the uh, should be showing you the video which will you know uh, summarize the whole process of how the things will actually be done for making this china space station possible in the low earth orbit basically the construction and summary of everything which you will see in near future and all those things so uh, yeah but before that uh, uh, let's just first talk about some the construction of the module and uh, so this construction plan for the china space station is for 11 mission 11 launch missions will be there there will be three types of carrier rockets which will carry the uh, you know modules to the space station there will be in total 11 launches and the launches will be done from 2021 to 2022 uh, have you seen a photo took from took from tiana it's very beautiful yes i have seen uh, taiwan i have seen that and uh, okay so yes 
right now uh, this is the thing which we can see here the long march 5b which is the most heaviest launch vehicle china has right now this will launch yana core module which has already been launched this will launch venshian lab capsule and the mangshian lab cap capsule you can see uh, uh, the weight of this is around 20 to 22 tons which is very heavy and is only suitable for a long march 5b rocket so these uh, uh, module the vangshan and the mangshan are the experimental modules which means most of the research for the space station will be done in these two modules the vangshan and the mangshan so if i am pronouncing it right so this will happen and uh, these are the uh, this will launch four module vangshan lab capsule and the mangshan lab capsule uh the the long march 7 medium lift rocket which will be launching the payloads to the low earth orbit today will also have four missions which will launch the tianzhou cargo vessels to the space station so you can see here uh, two in 2021 and two in 2022 so this will be launched with uh, you know the four uh, of these will be launched with the long march 7 rocket and after that okay i i have to tell you this thing also that after this mission after this mission is successful of launching this cargo module to the space station the next mission scheduled is the shenzhou mission which is the chinese manned space flight mission in which uh, astronauts or to be more precise taikonauts will be going to the space station to uh, perform all the research and all the activities in that so the rocket responsible for sending those uh, taikonauts to the space station win will be long march 2f rocket and uh, this also has four launches two in 2021 and two in 2022 the payload to the low earth orbit capacity is around 8.6 tons so china has this varied uh, varieties of you know a uh, launch vehicle this i am you know the most uh, i must say that the um most variety of launch vehicle for certain payloads to the low earth orbit if any uh, country has right now is that that would be china i mean they have so many rockets in their lineup and uh, they can simply launch any of them according to the payload requirement and obviously the orbit requirement so yeah that is the case here you can from here only you can see the difference in these three rockets so yeah that is how the things will look like and now talking about uh, the construction of the space station first of all tianhe is done then the tianzhou 2 space star spacecraft will be, is launching today then shenzhou 12 will be launching then again a cargo resupply mission will be happening at uh, will be happening and the name will be ten, tianzhou 3 then again a main manned spacecraft shenzhou 13 then tianzhou 4 again shenzhou 14 so it's uh, you know uh, this um, what do you say uh, constant uh, resupply to the space station which we can see here and the construction part will be till here and then after that it will be constructed fully now i must say the uh, play the video which will summarize everything for you so here we have the video it okay uh, before uh, you know playing this video let me just tell you that this video has uh, uh, a bit of issue with its audio so yes pardon me with that because this uh, this you know uh, the one part has the music one part has the but if you're going to build an actual one space so. It's not that simple. China's Tiangong Space Station project consists of three stages: key technical verification, construction, and here, here, and here, just the thing which you just saw there. Uh, let me just three play stages. it again. Key Once technical it is verification. Here. This was the thing which I was talking about. This is the capability of the arm here. of the of the arm here you can see that it can literally you know move the whole module from one docking port to another this is the capability of this arm and this is so cool i mean <laughs> it can literally just the module module can uh, you know uh, undock from the space station and uh, be there and then the you know this uh, module uh, this arm will take care of everything and just uh, transfer the module to another docking port 
So this is a very good thing. Construction and operation. The successful maiden launch of China's Long March 5D rocket in May of 2020 was a key milestone, validating this rocket as a viable vehicle to lift the station's core module called Tianhe into its designated orbit. Yes, Tianhe this launch will be a key shape to structure with the Tianhe core module the... and Mengtian and Wentian experimental modules. Besides the three launches to put the modules in orbit, These are the China has planned modules. four main missions. Here is the total, you know, the constructed part. Which you can see again, see the movement Eleven of the intensive arm. launches in total then by the end of 2022. Two All other. of China's main space missions will rely on this Long March 2F rocket. The Shenzhou spacecraft sits on the top of the rocket. Once the core module and later the entire Tiangong station are in place, this specific craft will dock with the core module while in orbit. Chinese astronauts will not only conduct a number of experiments, but also carry out extravehicular... Okay, so this was... This is also, a, you know, a very interesting thing. In this animation, you can see literally the, um, the astronaut or the taikonaut is standing on that arm and that arm is taking care of its movement and, you know, place... Uh, moving the astronaut to the location where it wants to go this is a this has a platform on which the uh, the astronaut can uh, you know stand and then the arm will move and uh, take care of all the things which involves movement in i mean wherever the astronaut has to go the arm will go, go take uh, take him there activities to help complete the construction you can of see the here space. this has the platform in which he is resting station Living and working in space shielding. for long periods of time requires more supplies. This is where the Long March 7 carrier rocket comes in. It will be used to carry the Tianzhou cargo ship, which will contain food, water, and other necessary supplies to the space station. All of these missions are integral parts, furthering China's endeavors for space exploration. Okay. So yes, this was pretty much about it and uh, okay. How was the video guys? Did you understand what was that? And now we should be looking at the flight profile for this thing. Uh, thank you so much John for that 20 super chat. Thanks for the research and coverage of these launches. I am. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. I just want to say that if you like what I do, you can just consider subscribing and liking the stream and I'll be there because I have this, you know, uh, vision for me. So uh, I want to, you know, encourage people uh, to look more into the space sector, these rocket launches and be fascinated from it. So and your support in the way is the thing which I want. Uh, and it really motivates me to have these launch coverages every time to you provide these launch coverages every time to you so here is the graphic the flight profile graphic which you can see here and uh, first of all shout out to Vonnie for providing this beautiful and amazing uh, graphic which actually summarizes the flight profile for today's launch so first of all here we can see that at t plus zero seconds the rocket will lift off from the pad and then the booster set will happen the once the booster engine just uh, you know gets depleted of its fuel they are separated so that uh, uh, all the extra mass the dry mass which it is carrying uh, it can sh just shed off and increase its uh, you know distance from where it can go so yeah that's why the staging happens uh, and uh, yeah thus once they are depleted they are separated and then the uh, after some time after you know just five to six seconds after the booster separation the, there is a miko for the main engine cutoff and then that will separate and uh, then uh, the second stage the upper stage will start here which you can see uh, then the fairing separation will occur and then obviously the payload separation which you can see right now and then the um, this thing uh, it will open its solar panel for the same and then the docking things will happen so here you can see it will uh, be put into this orbit if i'm not wrong 
and uh, once it is in this orbit it will uh, you try to match the orbit of uh, uh, tna by uh, starting its engine on this side because here you can see that the tna uh, orbit is this one and it is lower than the tna's orbit so once it is touching the line of that orbit it will uh, raise the per perigee from this point to this point so yeah and then it will match the velocity with itself and then the, the steps will be taken care of to dock with the space station the module the station yeah okay and uh, right now thank you so much luxi for that five really helps man uh, to provide these kind of coverages to all of you and uh, thank you so much chris guo do you know the tna2 will dock with tna this is not tna2 this is tianzo2 basically and uh, yes it will be docking to the uh, tna core module which you can see here and uh, okay the set Yes, it will be dock, docking to that part and you will be able to see. Okay. Now, thank you so much, Victor Sales, for that CRC 1500. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, really helps, man. And right now, just a sec, let me just see if we do have some other coverages for the today's launch. And I'll shift that because I don't have much to talk about right now. Do we have any other coverage? So, have a look at uh nope nothing as such although cctv is having one coverage but uh, that is more of a you know um <laughs> just a sec that does not have those info we are looking for for this launch yeah here is it okay i will find it no worry so right now let's just move it on to another part and guys i know what is happening in the chat uh, i mean um, yes cctv 13 is covering it but uh, uh, i'm trying to find one uh, stream for that uh, just wait a sec i will find but uh, before that i want to um, you know this uh, say one thing that i know what is going on in the chat and i just want to say for that uh, only one thing that space and politics are totally two different fields and uh, i don't know about politics but space is one sector where uh, unity happens where togetherness happens where harmony is there where peace is there because space is for everyone and space is one uh, you know sector where we can unite all of us can unite as a human species and we can uh, do something good for our human species and whatever launches or this uh, uh, thing the space station launch space station construction you are seeing all are being done by the scientists the engineers the policy makers so they don't have uh, you know uh, anything in mind they are just scientists and engineers uh, doing their work and main thing which they are achieving with this by doing this is that they are boosting the science output for us and ultimately the science output which we will get from this will boost the humanity it will help the humanity so just be grateful and uh, yeah appreciate china is doing something here so uh okay now we can have a look at something else also okay we are still in the world okay. now we can have a look at this the thing which i am so much uh, uh, looking forward to that is the vr 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 which you here is happening Heck. here you go i wanted all of you to see this view which you can see here this is the basically a vr view of the inside of the space station which you can see right now the thing which you are seeing is the 
uh, views inside the Shenzhou spacecraft, which is the manned human uh, manned spacecraft, which will be docking to the space station. So, uh, yeah, that is the case here. Uh, and uh, once we enter the TNA module, let's enter the TNA module now, and uh, you will see that uh, this is more of a sci-fi sci looking. Uh, kind of a thing and it is like that only uh, first of all this is the place where you will go to the TNA life support system in which uh, you can uh, these are the astronaut quarters basically if you go straight if you go in this section these are the experimental sections which which are the Wangshan and the Mangshan module so if you want to do your work after sleeping hours are completed if you want to go and do your work the research you go to either to this section or you go to this section right here which is a Mangshan or a Wangshan module both are those experimental module which will house all the <coughs> experiments <coughs> to be done by scientists and astronauts and if we go in the above section this is basically if I am not wrong the EVA airlock the EVA part of this thing which you can see here and astronauts can uh, uh, you know the taikonauts can go outside from here and do a spacewalk and conduct EVA and if I go uh, in the this section which is beneath us this is another docking adapter or is this the airlock I am not sure about it but one of them is airlock and one of them is the docking adapter this is another docking adapter which is used which is which can be used for docking again so yeah now uh moving on to the next part which is one where should we go next where did we come from this is the shenzhou okay we come we came from here and uh, now we will can go to the life support system which are the uh, uh, astronaut quarters basically so these are the astronaut quarters the life control cabin here you can see the astronauts can sleep here uh, means the bedroom kind of a thing is made here uh, here you can see here uh, some sort of tea arrangement is also there tea and water arrangement and uh, food also fooding also so yep that is the case here which you can see okay so now moving on to the next section which is the uh, resource po pod basically this is the uh, core module po pod where uh, you can conduct some sort of experiments and uh, this also has this uh, life support system housed in it and all those critical instruments uh, here which is needed for uh, the you know proper functioning of the space station so this is a resource part of it and uh, yes and this here is the aft docking port and the propulsion part here so if you open this you will go there so that is the case and uh, if we go to the experimental space cabin which is the vention cabin here this is the experimental cabin which means that you can uh, conduct some experiments some research out of here you can see here all the science equipments are kept here kept here uh, this is the module uh, the node cabin from where we came and entered this experimental cabin and the laptop obviously will be there all the science thing you can see the plants uh, research the growth of the plants will also be monitored here and uh, talking about the cabin 2 which is again a research module this will also have those things which we saw, saw there plants again monitor monitoring of the bio uh, stuff and uh, yeah that is pretty much about it okay Thank you so much ET for that for four dollar really helps the channel man. Thank you so much and we do have something. Let me just look at it. Is it 
although i'm not having is it a live from what cctv or what the sec just can but the cctv stream is going on right now okay not from the cctv can anyone suggest if they have started a pro thing you know the official uh coverage for this stream if they have can you just it is review okay think it is postponed to 20 utc is not live okay uh okay okay just a sec then let me just see what do we have here let me confirm what is happening rocket launch delay delayed to uh ha. tomorrow or what yes i think there is a scrub for today we have to problem during pre launch checks okay. Have you considered setting up a Discord that channel in the future? Yes, Discord is in the making. WPGG, and uh, right now, uh, okay, it is not live. Yeah, okay, let's wait for the next window, which is let me see if I can find uh, uh, some another uh, view for you all. I mean, some another live. Okay, uh, guys. Yes, it is a scrub for today because uh, those platforms, those hood is not opening. Uh, so, yep, that is the case here. Let me just still confirm it for you so that uh, if I have another views, we can shift towards that and have a you know, that a proper look at the rocket so that we can see what all is happening right now. But although yeah, I could see that uh, those uh, um, you know the the platforms were not opening, so it was bound to happen. But still. the view okay cool just look at it and uh, we you can see here up for you i was scrubbed let see the thing is that we don't have proper information regarding anything right now we are just uh waiting for things to happen so just wait we'll have we have we can see that guys the platforms or the hood is not opening right now and uh, yep so that would uh, imply that we have a scrub for today or uh, it has been postponed to some other time guys you you can you just tell me if anybody knows when is the another launch window if anybody knows today so weather is not good the launch has been postponed maybe cancelled is delayed because of wind okay
is delayed because of the cloud uh, okay 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 the the way it is delayed i know it is delayed but delayed by one hour i just uh no 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 i can't i don't know one hour is i don't think so one hour is the uh, launch window for this i think the launch window would be instantaneous if i'm not wrong like we have for the uh iss missions just confirm what is the launch window for today's mission cancel cancel delayed scrubbed <laughs> just a sec uh 2 11 30 we do have some launch window right now but uh, yep it is it is it is it is it is where to see the source okay let me just leave the source right now the source right now is what Heck. launch attempt is when my uh, pc is uh, becoming a pota potato pc right now because of so many things opening the same time the link welcome oh. uh. course okay the, i can tell you the name of the channel which i should be writing also here yes i will uh, you know let you know whenever that is possible whenever is the next launch opportunity i <clears throat> i think people since uh, nsa has not announced uh, anything officially so we are just in speculations but still uh, the launch is scrubbed for today must be cancelled by the upper atmosphere winds ground winds in the video look pretty calm uh see yeah it could be because of the upper winds but we can't uh, figure out whether uh, it was because of the winds or not because first of all i we can see that the hood is closed now the platforms are closed now so yes it has uh, been postponed the plan has been postponed due to the strong winds of hainan this information was from cctv okay so if it is true then it has been postponed due to the strong winds right now and uh, i should update the town sign here also done and uh, chris says seems like a weather problem co caused delays yes chris and thank you so much for that 599 really helps the channel guys uh, to stay alive i mean if you are new to this channel let me just tell you that i cover all the chinese space flight launches that uh, you know can be streamed uh, and uh, not only chinese uh, i cover every each and every launch that happens in the space industry and the other space events also so you can consider subscribing uh, for such awesome coverages for today like today so yeah you can always launch it in ksp yes talking about ksp uh -huh. okay talking about ksp starship boy quick glimpse what am i talking about there you go so i had made this wonderful animations to go uh, with the launch today because i thought uh, we won't be having a good amount of launch coverage so i thought 
why not have those animations to go and uh, so that you can follow the launch along and uh, you know you can follow as in what is happening with the launch was delayed by 90 minutes or uh i think it has been postponed i don't you know i don't think so it is a launch window today we have a launch window today they will again try it tomorrow if i'm not wrong i will have to confirm it though going up today or not nope launch is postponed we'll have to see uh, again but uh, as in when is the uh, launch opportunity trying to find that out due to the technical reason next week planned uh, some is okay i have theoretically so theoretically speaking <laughs> the <laughs> launch window is every day but uh, need additional time for finishing the check so maybe a few days later hmm there is no as such uh, uh, official information from the nsa right now but yes the launch has been postponed right now So yes, we have an officially scrubbed for today. Let me okay open that for you so that you can uh, see also. We have official update, <coughs> and uh, yes, it's a scrub for today. Is a scrub for today new okay due to technical reasons the rocket launch was delayed and a new launch date will be announced later okay thank you so much for that information this is a cargo <coughs> mission yep it is <coughs> according to cctv the launch time has to be rescheduled okay i So that we can have a look at uh, the formation together just a sec What do we have in here? Let's have a look at all the tweets as such, which is thing. Okay. Uh, okay. There's so much thing. There are so many things to manage, and sometimes it become. I am all right. Yes, Mori, I am all right. The only thing is that I am just uh, you know whenever this. Uh, um, some china's uh, launch or chinese space flight is there there are so many things that i have to manage and sometimes it becomes uh, difficult to do that and what does it say uh, the launch site staff and test members have worked hard and everyone who is concerned about the space flight has worked hard delays in launching are common and i hope the problem can be resolved as soon as possible yes very well said wlr2678 and follow him he's a great guy and i think this is the official update so what does it say guys this is the official update but what does it say official reply the launch was delayed because of the technical problem yes 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 okay Okay, it has been uh, postponed, but right now we are just trying to figure out the reason for that. He actually, we don't have the proper reason, um, but still, he says good night. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, got it. I 
I think this is the one uh, tweet on Weibo which are which we should be looking at, right? Is this the official one? If I'm not wrong, this is the official one, right? And it says the same thing. Good things come in small packages. Good night. Okay. Okay, this is the official news and uh, yes. Okay, so the rocket has been fueled and this is the first time that China has stopped the launch of a fueled rocket. Uh, okay, I don't think so. That is the case, but uh, I don't know either. So yes this is official okay fine this is the official and for technical reasons for technical reasons this is the thing which has happened today uh due to technical issues so the thing which we were you know uh, uh looking forward to i mean we were th thinking that the launch was postponed due to the winds but no it's due to the technical reason and just because it is because of the technical reason we can anticipate that the next launch opportunity would be tomorrow. First of all, theoretically speaking, yes, every day is a launch day uh, for the space station for the module for this module of the space station. But again, now since this is a technical problem, they will have to uh, go to the pad, check out the issue and it that could take time and the rectification could take time. So, yeah. Okay. Other than that, uh, else do we have here? Nothing. Okay, I think that is the official news which we had. So the launch has been postponed due to the technical reasons, and uh, we are just uh, let we are just hoping for. The rectification of the issue tomorrow okay we'll also get some time to do some things up now tcp is hard at work okay guys and if you are just wondering what has happened right now let me just repeat again the launch has been postponed due to the technical reasons and uh, we don't know the next op launch opportunity yet because they have to identify the issue they have to rectify the issue and then again begin the countdown clock so but uh, the launch opportunity theoretically could be tomorrow but they will have to you know rectify the problem by tomorrow then also then only we will be able to launch otherwise this could take some time now and uh, obviously we will be informed about the launch opportunity so that is the thing will the booster fall on the earth again Alberto says no 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 that's a big no uh, obviously um, yeah the booster will fall on the earth but will not fall on the land and uh, uncontrollably on the land that will not happen the only rocket which uh, has that issue is the long march 5b rocket because it's you know kind of an ssto to the orbit the single stage to the orbit uh with only the, the side boosters jettisoning so it's you can um, you know say it's 1.5 stage to the orbit does not have any upper stage so because of that core stage remaining in the orbit and that too after some time it does not have that uh, proper uh ADCS and GNC, which is the guidance and navigation control and attitude determinations and control system, it does not have those, and it does not even have a proper, uh, you know, a long battery to support 
a proper d orbit so that is why it does not have a d orbiting capability right now and uh, yeah it totally relies on the atmospheric drag to come down but that is the only problem with the long march 5b rocket other than that we don't have any other uh, rocket which does have that problem so yeah So it's postponed. Yes, it is postponed. Uh, which you can see here. This is an official confirmation that it is because of the technical reason. M. Carpenter says subscribed not many channels over about China launches and a lot of China launches in the coming months. Let me just tell you that I don't uh, cover just the China's launches. I cover almost every launch as well as every space event. Recently, the Zurong rover landed and I covered that also. I somehow managed to get a live stream out of it and people loved it. So I am a person who can, you know, give you some uh, good amount of info as well as uh, updates on what is happening so if you want you can subscribe and if you want to support me the patreon link is in the description below you can always check that out and super chat is always and always enabled for one-time funding it really 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 helps the channel to stay alive and uh, because of you we are on this thing we are not muted i can't deal if i'm not okay So I think we can, uh, um, you know, end the stream as such. If we don't have any other thing left right now to discuss. The launch is postponed and we can see the towers, the platforms which have already swung back to its position. And now the vehicle is being safe, safening together. So, yeah. have any other input right now no and uh, uh, if you want guys <laughs> you can also follow me on twitter the link is also there in the description you can follow me on twitter for the latest updates on everything so yep i tweet about rocket science i do tweet about space updates i do it about a lot of things so yes you can find that where can i find the chinese space station we are uh Vivian luo says um um we will i mean that's <clears throat> that link is in the cmse website right now so if you go to the cmse website you will be able to find that uh, uh, link for that vr section you can actually uh, experience the space station in vr right now I can't pull the link right now, but if possible, I will update, try to update the uh, link after the stream. Okay. What is the size of the space station? Yes, Harsh, you actually asked a good question out there. So, so the size of the space station, it is not as big as International Space Station. It is almost one fifth the size of International Space Station. More like uh, more, you know, the, if you consider the size, it is as much as we had for Mir space station. So the Mir and this Chinese space station, which is known as Tiangong 3, are comparable otherwise if you compare it to the international space station it is one fifth the size of that so yep okay no other update as such Launch is scrubbed for today and yesterday we had a good uh, launch of the Atlas V rocket. Uh, I streamed that also. It was a beautiful, beautiful launch. <laughs> and uh, yes, 
you can see <coughs> that from <coughs> sorry here only this was the one picture captured when it was in flight you can see the rocket uh, having the experiencing the mark effects which uh, you can see here that happens when the rocket is crossing the um sound the sound barrier basically the speed of sound so yeah that is the case here we had a beautiful lift off the of the atlas 5 yesterday and now we thought we had we will have experience a a uh, good lift off of long march 7 but that didn't happen today we'll have to wait for another launch opportunity so yep hey so i think guys i can now uh, cancel sorry the end the stream basically if you don't have any other questions i can end the stream and uh, we can meet again whenever this thing uh, goes to the orbit so you can subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss the update whenever it is happening yep and you can if you want to support me super chat is enabled otherwise patreon is down in the description okay Uh, if you have any other questions you can ask me guys of e so to cool in fine this station is there any more updates on the russian and the chinese joint polar moon base okay wildflower that is a good question i mean uh first of all any updates which we can exp uh, you know get from the cooperation from russia and china in terms of lunar base would come from russia only uh, china releases very little info as such so yeah and talking about any update right now they just have uh, uh, you know dated the collaboration that yes china and russia will be working together to build a lunar base on the moon as uh, us is also going to the moon so now china and uh, uh, russia will be working together to make a base on the moon so right now we only have that update if i'm not missing anything out other than that more technical details uh don't know if you have you can share it with me but right now i don't have those uh any other updates so, yeah. okay so i think i can uh, uh end the stream right now and uh, we will catch again uh, whenever this happens starship launch starship sn15 right now uh, <clears throat> is being uh, inspected is being researched is being studied for any other effects uh, uh, you know the launch effect uh, if it has survived anything and i don't know what will happen with the raptor engines will they be replaced or will they be reused but right now for your information the starship the sn15 is on the launch mount so they are inspecting it they are doing whatever best they can to make it uh, you know uh, reflight possible so yes that is the thing the hexagonal glass that appeared in the vr just now is an observation window to the earth similar to one on the iss uh, that appeared in the vr just now what vr are you just talking about i don't know okay so is the, uh, that vr is about uh, that hexagonal window okay let no 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 that's a vr setting i don't know what you are talking about max dlj but yeah if you if you have uh, uh, gone to that link if you click on that hexagonal thingy you will go into vr mode so okay okay now this is the official update guys 
the launch has been postponed to the another day because of the technical reasons we don't know the technical reasons yet uh talking about the next launch opportunity it could happen as early as tomorrow but we will have to wait and see how big the issue is and whether they will be able to rectify it by tomorrow so don't worry whenever the launch happens i'll be there with you streaming the launch and uh, hanging out with you discussing about space the rocket science and giving you all the sweet info that you want just before the launch uh, can you show the link on the top of the navigation bar okay i will just po post the link in the live chat for you all guys i'll do that a sec if i do that you will be able to this A sec, let me just put the uh, here, here, here. Open up, and there you go. So, I have posted the link uh, in the, the chat, guys. You can check that out for the VR, the, the space station VR. Uh, if you are look, if you want to look at that, so this is the link you can check that out. And talking about the launch opportunities, yes, the <clears throat> launch opportunities will be happening uh, every day and uh, every other day the launch will be pre-pawned. I mean, the at the same time, uh, today the launch was supposed to happen at around 1.35 BJT and uh, tomorrow it could push to be to happen a bit earlier. So yes, that is the thing okay guys now i think i can end the stream thank you so much for joining in and uh, i appreciate you guys all joining in and listening to all the things which i talk about and uh, yeah thank you so much until then this is priyanshu roila you just saw rocket gyan stay safe stay healthy and oh wait a sec before <laughs> moving on to that i would like to thank all of the mods who moderated the chats i mean i always forget to thank them i mean i wouldn't have uh, pulled out a great stream without all of them so thank you so much all the mods labrat louis smith shashank desai john wilson whosoever contributed and uh, yeah thank you so much everyone so now i can send uh, and the stream so yeah this is Piyanshu Roila, you just saw Rocket Gyan, stay safe, stay healthy and bye-bye.